roll your shoulders back, lift your gaze. And on our exhale, let's hug the belly in and fold back in and down. Maybe there's a bit more there. And then hands come to the shins again, lift the chest up, lift the gaze. See if you can make your spine super long as so though you're trying to reach your crown of your head to the lake. And then exhale. Speak until I'm done. Settles in the same specific place. I'd refuse to go. Drink it from a Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. It's gonna be windy again, so hopefully you can hear me over the footage here. But last night we stayed at this lagoon area. We had a setting camp at the back here. It's a pretty amazing place. We woke up this morning, well I woke up this morning to a plane flying overhead and another one just went overhead as well. Like um, small like little water plane things. We went away from to get up and then pack up the bikes and head out of here. This was the ultimate cushioning last night. This grass is like super soft. And it was like the best cushioning ever. The best night's sleep I've probably ever had. It's like freaking 10 of these mats. It's awesome. Just having a walk around this reserve, it is really awesome. Just waiting for the guys to pack up their stuff. And then we're gonna get on our bikes and ride to a national park that I'm not quite sure or aware of the name of it. And these guys are really into rock climbing, so they're gonna give me a lesson in rock climbing today. And uh, they're gonna teach me how to rock climb, which will be pretty interesting, because I've never done rock climbing before. And they're pretty advanced as well, so it'd be awesome to, to do that. So definitely look forward to that for today's vlog. So the little reserve area is just up off the main road here. It's just down here. There's a little shack over the road there. It looks like somebody's living off the grid. Thrills, time is surreal, right? Plane just off the my will. That's what this feels like. Coat the petty racket. Easter season discoveries. Dancing in my dreams. I like to grasp and love to glance at it. So we've left campsite. We're making our way to Coles Bay which is where we're going to be climbing. I'm really excited. I think I can do 17. I think it's like a level. It's like a number system they use for mountain climbing. And I think it's a bit of a far stretch for me considering I've never done it. Considering like walking is number four, if that puts it into context. But we'll see how we go. Um, I'm running a bit low on batteries because I haven't been able to charge. So uh, we'll see how we go with today's vlog though. So we made it to Coles Bay and I'm in a coffee shop at the moment. I'm just on my computer here, just getting some work done, made some sales. Got a um, message mum let her know uh, what I've sold and stuff so she can get it sent out. Because I haven't been on the internet for a couple of days and I really need to get these items sent out before they become late. So I'm going to work on doing that. Kind of struggling with things that aren't charged because we've been pretty remote the last couple of days. So I'm just trying to work around that as well but it's a bit of a challenge. Especially when Taz West Tassie is going to be even more remote, so it's going to be very difficult. We'll see how we go. Also, check out the mountains there just out the window. Coles Bay is on point. It's awesome. So I just got done with a bit of work there in the cafe. Had a heap of backlogged work that I had to do, but I'm going to take you guys down here and check out the water. It's actually a nice little town, Coles Bay. <laughs> It's been very difficult to film lately, especially on the coast, because it's so windy and it just kills all the noise. It's really annoying. Check it out, these are all the fish that you can find in this location. So many. One of you guys said in the comments that the shellfish are all right to eat, but I'm not gonna risk it because they have these danger signs everywhere about this toxic bloom that's in the waters at the moment. So you can't eat the shellfish because you'll get some kind of poisoning from it. So I don't want to risk it. 
even if it's a cool thing to do, like just the experience, I don't want to really risk my health over it. But um, I might try some in the shops and see how the local shellfish tastes. So to get to the, the mountain that we're climbing, that we're rock climbing, we're riding through this insane mountain bike track. We just had this huge freaking uphill just before. Had to get off and push the bikes. But it's tough work for the certainly. <laughs> Little wallaby. It's gonna get the food. Yeah, it's not bad. Baby. Oh, look at the joey. Yeah. They're all crumpled up there. Body, get out of it. You're not gonna enjoy that skin, mate. All right, so we've just set up the tents. I'm gonna get changed, and then it's climbing time. So we set up our camp literally on top of these rocks here and i think this is where we're going to be rock climbing my feet are here look where the drop is right down there it is really daunting considering i've never done something like this and i am let's just say i am a little bit afraid of heights but the view is amazing I think these guys are crazy doing this. All right, I'm gonna have to walk down here, try and climb down to get down there where those guys are over there. Oh, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> so that was it, that was a climb from up there, come down here. I'm gonna walk along here, try and climb up this stuff. So we're climbing up through there, no rope, so it's pretty dangerous if we fall down there. So this climb here is apparently a grade 12, which is fairly difficult for a beginner like me, but it is manageable. And it gets up to about 38 grade or something like that in difficulty. As you can see, there's a dude up there doing it right now. So I don't know how high that is up there, but it seems, I don't know, like 50 meters plus, 70 meters probably. It's pretty high. So there is a guidebook here that explains different routes you can actually take up this rock face. And the diagonal one here, 280, which is basically that, is about 70 meters. So I didn't mention before, but this wall is called the White Water Wall, just for reference.
right guys, that was a pretty insane climb. When I was up there, my heart was racing, the adrenaline was running through me. It was really quite the experience, and I now know why these guys love doing rock climbing. It just makes you feel so alive, it's really awesome. It's quite scary and like fun at the same time. I can't explain, it's just amazing. So that was a pretty awesome first climb. The grade ended up being about 15 or something like that. And essentially it was that point there up to about there in the grand scheme of all of that. So the most difficult climb here is a 28 grade one. And that essentially is just over there and 28 is said to be pretty difficult. It's amazing because I would never have thought since going on a bike tour in Tasmania to be rock climbing on the edge of Tasmania. <laughs> it's just incredible. So I was getting pretty dark, the sun's already set, but uh, I haven't had a good shower or clean since the whole trip. And there is a really good spot here to wash up, so. I got my cycling clothes on. I'm gonna give them a clean as I wash myself, so. I don't know where it is. The guys have already left to go down there, so see if I can find this place. Guys, that is it from me for today's vlog. That water is so cold. Oh my gosh. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Put some comments down below as well. Hopefully it's not windy, but I'm gonna get back to camp, have some dinner and hit the hay. Then I might head out on the bike again and uh, leave the group. We'll see what happens though. It's really dark, but I love this. I love this camera, how it picks up the low light situation. But see you guys in tomorrow's, bye. We have possums in this campsite. Possums, little terrors. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs>